what's up guys for this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to do the fakey front side Bixman and as you can see right now already you guys are first of all gonna have to learn how to front side shove fakey 180 your fakey shove to you know do the complete trick alright guys and once you guys have those tricks set up you guys should be able to do this but now I'm gonna show you guys my foot placement the reason I'm not showing my face is because it's probably really sweaty. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my foot position. My back foot, I always put it in the back pocket of the board. It's all the way down here. You guys, you guys can see that. And the other foot, which is my front foot, I put it all the way to like the front bolt, all the way to over here, all the way to the front bolt. And the reason I put it all the way up here, like close to the nose, is so I can get the extra spin whenever I'm actually doing the fakie, the fakie big spin. It's so I can get that big spin, just so I don't just do one shove it, so I can do the complete 360 shove it. You see, it actually kind of has like a 360 shove it with it. And it's kind of awkward because people in church are actually looking at me doing this. Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys what would happen if I change my foot placement. Here's what would happen if I have my front foot, like, not as, not as much as where the nose is. I'm going to put my foot right here and see what happens when I do that. That's what always happens when I do it. It's weird. So I'm gonna put my foot all the way to the nose. You see, it gives me that extra spin, so that's how I do much easier. Uh, but yeah, anyways, all you gotta do is combine the tricks, and you'll get it, probably. All right, guys. A quick tip that showed me how to get this trick better is basically just to do more spin and less pop. When I do this trick, I don't really pop a lot. I just make sure that I do the shove it so it goes complete. Like do the complete shove it and I don't even care about the pop. But sometimes you are gonna need the pop so your board isn't like primo. But uh, most of the time I just forget about the pop and just do the shove. You are gonna need to pop your foot though. If you have no pop, your board can't go nowhere. And that's my quick tip.